Poirier was just lucky enough last night to have a guy stand in front of him and drop his hands. I don't see Dustin actually beating anyone at the top of the rankings uh, ever again. Just don't. He's done. He's still done. I stand by it. He's done. But BSD got fraud checks. So here's to the fighters, the fans and the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears and the fame. And here's to Az and Key, you ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show. Time to fraud check fighters at last night's UFC 299. And the first one is Kyler Phillips taking on Pedro Munoz. And it's a strange one because Kyler Phillips was absolutely great. He put on a great performance. He showed great cardio, great technique, uh, great striking. Uh, but Pedro Munoz just never seems to get going. This is where he shows great movement, and but he just never lands anything significant or engages in any significant grappling. He looks the part, but never quite gets anything off. So Kyler Phillips ends up winning the fight, and I, I think he... And for me, he completely passes the fraud check. We do have to remember, though, that Kyla Phillips did pop for PEDs back in January 2023. Um, so take of that what you will. And we move on to the next one. The next fighter on the fraud check list is Jailton Almeida. He does what he does. He comes out. He goes. He shoots for the takedown. He sort of leans on his opponents, hugs them, and sticks to them like Velcro. And not really much happens from there on out. Casey's Blade stayed calm and kind of allowed Almeida to stick to him he didn't want to explode out and make any mistakes and get caught uh, so he, he just stayed patient and waited for his opportunity the first round was absolutely dog shot almeida just kind of umped him for the entire fucking first round i don't know how we're not changing this in mma how deductions aren't coming in to stop this stalling behavior uh throwing a foot stomp shouldn't be significant enough for the referee to not not separate the guys anyway we're up against the fence. Almeida's trying to shoot for a takedown. But he's not really trying to finish the takedown. He's not trying to, you know, get anything off. He's just lying on the leg, sniffing the crotch. And at this point, I think Curtis Blades has just had enough. He doesn't want his crotch sniffed all night. He starts landing hammer fist blows to the back of the ear. Completely legal blows. Ends up securing the TKO victory. Thank you very much, uh, Curtis Blades. Completely fraud checks Almeida. And hopefully someone else fraud checks him and we never get to see this guy fight ever again. And we move on to the next one. Michael Venom Page steps up for his UFC debut against Kevin Holland. Now, a lot of people had doubts about MVP going into this fight, saying that he's a Bellator fighter and he's not on UFC level. He's not UFC caliber. He completely proved the doubters wrong last night in his fight against Kevin Holland. The way this man covers distance is absolutely fucking incredible. Explodes forward, covers distance with absolute speed lands the one two in and out and he was doing that all night he, he was covering distance and using his elbow to to land and, and avoid kevin Holland's attacks kevin Holland was getting frustrated the more the fight went on i wish this one was a five round fight and i think we would have seen the finish from mvp he dropped kevin Holland multiple times and he just didn't engage with the grappling he let kevin Holland back up so he could knock him down again you could tell mvp was looking for that walkout finish uh i love the flair on this guy he's exciting to watch he keeps it entertaining. It's exactly what the UFC fans have been wanting. If he's promotable, then he gets the he gets the good fights. He gets the Stephen Thompsons. He gets the Ian Garys, and possibly we even get a title fight against Leon Edwards further down the line. If he meets a Sean Brady, he meets a Shavkat, a Balal, he's going to be in trouble. His grappling hasn't really been tested. He passed the fraud check last night. However, on the grappling side of things, he's yet to be fraud checked on that. Hopefully, he can stay away from the grapplers. Uh, keep the strikers, and we'll see good things from MVP in the future. Oh, the next one on the fucking fraud checklist is Benoit Saint Denis, who took on Dustin Poirier. Um, it's a bit of pill to swallow because I did pick BSD, but he got completely fraud check last night in his fight against Dustin Poirier. And let's explain it. So he comes out and he starts with an iron level pace. That's what BSD does. He really puts it on. Would he sustain that pace for the entire five rounds? I really don't think he would. So I think he was looking for the finish early doors. Uh, Dustin Poirier stayed calm. He pulled a few guillotine attempts in the first round. Don't know why he keeps doing that. He's been told by his team. Uh, and I've been saying it all week. We saw it in the PFL. Guillotines do not work at this, uh, this level of competition. People should not be pulling guillotines. It's a stupid, dumb move, and you could end up losing the fight based on stupidity. Anyway, Dustin Poirier is good enough to not get finished in the first round, and it goes to the second round. BSD comes out, 
starts again with the eye, eye level pressure. He gets knocked completely out and fraud checked by Dustin Poirier. Benoit Saint Denis is an exciting fighter. He needs to fight more intelligently against these ranked opponents. That he's not going to get away with the same shit that he's been getting away with uh, over his last four, four, five fights. So my verdict is Benoit Saint Denis got completely fraud checked last night. He needs to go back to the drawing board. He needs to fight more intelligently and he needs to game plan a lot better than that if he's going to be pushing into the top five, top top six of the rankings. And in the main event tonight, Sugar Sean O'Malley takes on Cheeto Molinvera. Sean O'Malley last night put on an absolute fucking clinic on Cheeto. He didn't get the finish, but he, he was just patient. He showed patience. He showed uh, a masterclass in striking, picked him apart from the outside. But Cheeto is he's durable. That's what he's known for. He's a durable fighter. He can take shots and keep coming forward. But Cheeto just couldn't get off his striking well enough to make an impact or land anything significant. And that's just kind of how the story played out. Sean O'Malley completely passes the fraud check, put on a masterclass in striking. And what's next for Sean O'Malley? He's talking about moving up to featherweight to take on Taporia. I don't think that's the right move for him. I think he should defend his balls to bantamweight, take on Marab, and really solidify himself as one of the best bantamweights of all time. Thank you very much for joining. Let me know what you think of these fraud checks in the comments. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.